What? Look at this. How cool is that? Hey, welcome back. Today is 23 degrees. It's cold, but we're hitting an old area forest park that was once known as the Dew Drop Inn, which is kind of like a camp where people, I guess, could rent and stay. So let's see how we made out because I found some truly epic finds today that were totally unexpected right now. That's a 13, 14, a little bit higher than a shotgun has rung up thus far as the day has progressed. Huh, that, look at that. That's a fancy piece of something. I don't know what it would have been off of, but we'll take it. There's a shallow 13, 14, right here, another, that's a top off something, cigarette something, Milo, this, we're going to clean that up, that looks interesting. Why would I save something like this? Because it helps tell the story of this house. When I go to make a display for my little forest park collection, this property is going to be a highlight for sure. On to the next hole. That's a ludicrous signal, but I swear I see something here under the uh, snow. Let's see if I can get this. What? Look at this. How cool is that? This, I'm my best guess on this one, gang, is I don't think this is instrument. I think this is an old honk honk off a car there's something on it too let's see what it says something paris if you think you know what this horn's from let me know because i'm totally unsure i put it on id me and gosh it's a tough one all right do you see what i see check this out i think we found something good here a good area all right look at this nice old bottle there Oh, that's broken here. That's a glass. But another broken one here. This one's looking like it might be whole. This one over here is whole. It's an old ketchup bottle. We're going to make a little store of stuff here that we're going to get out. What else do we got? Look at this. There's a drinking glass that's very intact. Oh, just a rim chip. How about this one here? Another ketchup bottle that's badly damaged. I think we can get this one out without killing it. Oh yeah, look at that, and it's fully embossed. Well, net capacity, it's telling us some weight, but that's a cool aqua bottle. All right, we'll save these ones here, but let's scan the area. Another beautiful signal right here. Listen to this. Ringing up as a 20. Not far from the bottles either, so maybe it's something good. Ooh. You know, that's a little sad. Look at this container. We got a metal iron container, but I'm hearing nothing inside. No gold coins for us today. Boo. All right, I have to know, don't you? I hear something rattling around there. It could just be rust. Okay, I've got it popped. You ready? <laughs> kind of in that mess, there's a 12, and I want it. My signal's right here. What do I see in the hole? Look at this bot. Look at this, this bottle. And it's not the signal. Whatever the signal is, this is a bonus find. How cool is that one? That one's really pretty. Let's set that aside. Now, what was our signal? Oh, there's another thing here. Whoa, look at this. Look at this. I got something round. That's the face off an old pocket watch. No pocket watch in there, though. So. How cool is that? The glass is intact, the bezel is there. Bam. My kind of find. And that was my Spectrum Bill favorite find of the hunt. 
This one's all over the map, but it's all over the map in the high 20s. So, I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We got a jar with an aluminum lid. That's period. No embossing in the bottom, but it's an old kind of cold cream jar. And I hear liquid inside, so. I bet the cap is frozen and I can't get it off right now until I get it home. I was gonna dump out the liquid, but that's what it was. Ah, I'm getting tangled up in the tree, but not so tangled that I couldn't hear that nice solid 28-29. That's, uh, that's dime territory almost. Not quite. Here we go. Another lid and it's another cold cream, but it's this one's all embossed on the thing. I think this is a Richard Hudnut. I, I see Richard on there. Yeah, Richard Hudnut, cold cream. Good old relic. Starting in 1880, Richard Hudnut was a manufacturer of beauty and skincare products, much like this cold cream cap that you're seeing here. He died in the 20s, and the name was carried until it was rebranded in the 1950s. Okay, so here's the hill and down. 23 to 25 pretty tight, but this has been cap signal territory today. Although I will say I liked every cap I found so far, except for the bottle caps. Wow, look at this. This frozen mess is a mason jar lid. That's what it was. You could tell it wasn't me that broke that. That's been broken for some time, but look at the porcelain insert. It's got an iron cross on it. So if for no other reason other than to save the insert, that's coming with us. In the thick of this bottle, so I'm gonna hand dig this out best I can. There's a high tone chirping away. What's that? What is this? I'll say, this, the best I can tell on this one, look at the gold gilting on that thing. Wow, that's gonna clean up super nice. Maybe this was a mirror. You know, this band maybe looks like it went around a pane of glass for a mirror. What do you think? I think it's awfully fancy. Bottles and stuff here. Look at this little guy. This is like a salt shaker, I think. Uh, don't break it. I don't want to pry too hard on this side because there's one right under it. Look at that. Like an old salt or pepper shaker container. Oh, here we go. An old paneled unembossed one right here these are just the prettiest aren't they i love it this was a high tone i didn't believe that it was a high tone but this is good because i needed to pick up one of these you know what that is that's a carbon battery core and we needed this for electrolysis because i misplaced mine so awesome but look at this ground huh look at this ground but what's this one here is this one a hole is it a Holsies? Sure is. Look at that. This one's embossed. So look at is this one whole? Oh, it is. Look at that. It's a little square guy. I love small, tiny bottles like this. This one's embossed too. Triple D. Found the D today. Three times. This is part of an old lamp. We didn't find lamp wick adjuster today. We found lamp fluted uh, glass thing there. Just pulled this one out. This is a heel Broner, full pint, and it says Schenectady right on it, which is cool. That's local to me here. The Electric City. This is embossed, I can tell already. Yeah, look at that. I have not found one of these before. What is it? The Piso Company. Trade Piso's marks and embossed on each side. Hazeltine Co. That's that's probably my favorite bottle so far. By by a long shot. That's a really neat one. Spot of tea, anyone? Yeah, so this stuff behind me, I think we're gonna wait till springtime because I'm starting to get a little nervous that I'm gonna break some glass. So we'll wait till then. On with the program. This one's got the funk. It's chirping high a little bit. Let's find out. This? Okay, we got an ice ball. What's in the ice ball? Oh, look at that. Something cool in the ice ball. 
looks like suspension suspender part a little snap on it maybe not you know probably the same air of those bottles honestly which makes me think uh, somewhere around the teens 20s okay it appears that our one piece of suspension might not have been the only piece of suspension we might have a little bit more in here here today right look there we go what do you say to that another suspender piece right next to the other one probably related right <laughs> well who would have thought that using a metal detector would have led to me uncovering so many bottles today huh if you enjoyed please click one of the videos on the left to watch more or click the subscribe button on the right to join us next week for more four season all-terrain treasure hunting have a great day